Hello and welcome to another session here at Pilates Bay Online. We're going to work on an active evening routine today, which you can easily use for just finishing up the day, maybe in the early afternoon or early evening. Um, you're just like finish it off with like 15, 20 minutes only, um, which is your to go practice that you can always include in your daily routines. Um, we're going to start in the cross legged position and then we're going to move around and see where we end up. <laughs> so you find a comfortable seat with your legs across in front of you. You have your hands on your knees. You close your eyes for a couple of seconds to first arrive here on your mat within your body. You start inhaling through the nose. Feel how your ribs expand and exhale. You let the breath go throughout the mouth, closing your ribs, closing your web page together. Let's do that a couple more times in through the nose. And exhale, let it go. Take this time to check in with your body, to check in how your shoulders, neck, jaws feel today. Maybe you had a stressful day and you just want to leave it behind, all the tensions maybe that you stored in your body. We just want to release it and breathe it out. Let's do it two more times. Deep breath in. And you let it go. For the last one, you drop your hands down and you open your arms over the sides, up to the ceiling. And you exhale, you open your arms to the side, you open your gaze to the front, your palms look forward, exhale, you round your back to the front, you scoop the navel in, chin drops to your chest and you reverse the movement, inhale, you open up, open the chest and you look up to the sky. Exhale, let's go around and inhale, let's open up. You can already start here to get familiar with your pelvic floor, with your core center or with a powerhouse how some Pilates teachers also like to say. So you scoop it in, you round it and then you inhale, you open it up. Think about the pelvic floor lifting up when you exhale which is located in between your sit points. And exhale, let's do two more. Awakening up our spine, giving us some rotations and openings, closings. Inhale, we stay open, we lengthen from the top. Exhale, we go into the twist. Inhale, we come back to center. Exhale, we go into the twist on the other side. And you come back to center. Let's do it one more time to each side. And center, last one. And center. From here you drop one hand down onto the mat, you reach with the other hand over, press the floor away and give yourself a nice stretch here on your side to get your body nice and ready for some movements. You come directly to floating arms and go over to the other side. Also here you reach over, shoulder drops and you press the floor away. All right, from here we come back up, we drop those arms down, give yourself some shoulder circles to the back and then to the front. All right, from here you roll over your knees to find yourself in your all fourth position. I'm gonna switch around so that you can see me from the side. You have your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, and you wanna press the floor away here. Yes. So active stomach, straight line in your spine. From here, you start extending the left leg to the back. You tuck your toes under, hip stays parallel. Exhale, you extend the right leg to the back. And also here, tuck the toes under, and you find your front support. You stay here for one breath in. Exhale, you let the breath go, you find your upstretch. Sending your hip up high into the sky. And then you inhale, you come onto those toes, lift those heels from the mat. Exhale, draw the heels down. Inhale, you come up. And exhale, you draw it down. Let's do two more. Stretch the back, stretch your legs. And exhale, lower it down. For one more time, inhale up and exhale, lower it down. Then you look to the front, you find your plank position here again. Then you release the left foot. 
you straighten your leg and then you exhale you lift the leg parallel to the mat you inhale you lower it down you stay on the same side press the floor away exhale you lift inhale you lower for two more draw the stomach towards your spine one last one and lower down tuck the toes under directly other side you stay in your plank exhale you lift and inhale you lower down easy as that exhale we lift and inhale we lower for two more and we lower one last one hip stays parallel and then the tuck the toes under inhale stay exhale lift your pelvis up high stretch your back maybe you want to walk on the spot this time or you go back to lifting your heels and lowering them down whenever you feel like close your eyes to check in otherwise stay in your open gaze then draw those heels down you look to the front you find your playing position shortly and then you just roll over to your side having your feet in front of each other keeping your hand underneath your shoulder and then you open your arm up find your side plank and then from here you inhale open the chest exhale engage the core and then you lift the hip higher and reach with your arm overhead inhale you lengthen back up and exhale you reach over one more time inhale up and exhale lift and reach and then you come back you place the hand back down you find your plank and then you find your up stretch only for one breath in exhale you look to the front you find your plank and now I show you my beautiful back <laughs> so we find our side plank feet are in front active core and then you exhale you lift and you reach and you inhale you come back up and exhale lift and reach and inhale come up so the core is active here and up for one last one reaching up and over and straight back up you place the hand back down you find your plank you find your up stretch or pyramid shape how I also like to call it inhale now come into your toes exhale draw those heels down one more time inhale up exhale lower them down from here you look to the front you find your plank and then you're gonna release your left foot slide the top of your foot over the mat you find your knee underneath your hip you stay with your right foot in the back and the hip stays equal and then you inhale you open your arm your left arm up to the ceiling and then you exhale you reach the arm underneath thread the needle through bend slightly your right elbow but stay with your hip equal and then you exhale now you open up and then you squeeze as reach underneath through and then you find your hands underneath your shoulders both of them hip stays equal you release you untuck your toes and you exhale you lift that leg up inhale you lower it down exhale you lift inhale we lower for two more straighten the leg and then you stay lifted from here you bend your knee you flex your foot and you want to send the heel up and lower and up and lower for six and lower squeeze the right butt cheek now and up and lower four was it four <laughs> three four two one last one and now from here we lower the knee completely down but just hover it over the mat and then you lift it back up you lower it down and you lift maybe now you want to point your toes so that you reach up and lower it down and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale still working on those glutes and inhale for four and lower three and lower two we're gonna include one last one on this side 
and we open to the side. So we open and close. We open and close. That's it. Stay with your other knee underneath your hip joint. So although oops, you're opening to the side, you want to stay active in your whole body and stay aligned with your poles, with your sticks on the floor. Two more. And in, out, in, you let, let it go down. You tuck your toes under, you release your knees and you find your up stretch. Beautiful straight line. Maybe now you want to walk on the spot again, lifting one heel after the other. Whenever you need to, you can always come to your rest position. Always come to your child's pose if you're more to yoga practices, used to yoga practices. And then you draw the heels down again. You look to the front. You find your plank position. Straight line, hip in one line with your shoulders. And then from here, you release now the right foot. Draw it over the mat until you have it underneath your hip. Then from here, you open the right arm to the side and you open it up to the ceiling. And then you bend your elbow and you reach underneath. That's it, let's open up. And let's close it down, reaching through. Then you place the hand underneath. And we're gonna do the whole session also on the other side. So first, make sure that your hands are in one line with those shoulders, knee underneath the hip, hip is in one line. And then we lift the leg and we lower it down. And we lift and we lower. And we lift and we lower, we stay lifted. Then we bend that knee, we flex the foot. And then we exhale, we lift and lower. And we lift and lower. Let's go for a couple more. So we want to squeeze the left butt cheek and we want to press it up with the exhale. Inhale, exhale. And lift and lift. That's it. On that left one, we're working and we press the floor away. So hands press down and we lift for two and one and we lower the knee down and we lift it up. Now we point the toes lower and we lift and we lower and we lift. Sending those toes up to the ceiling and the stomach helps you so that you don't start like hanging in your lower back. We want to be active from the bottom so that we keep our spine straight and support it. Let's do two more. And we lift and lower one last one and then we open to the sides again. And when we open to the sides, so we start opening <laughs> and closing, we want to focus on squeezing the sit bones together the ones where we were sitting on in the beginning. So while you open, you squeeze your core and you might feel your glutes working already a bit. That's good. Let's do for a three and two. Last one. We lower the knees down. Now we open the knees slightly to the side so that you can sit back and give your belly some space to breathe while you find your rest position. Dropping the forehead down, maybe you want to circle your wrists a little bit. Relaxing with your breath in through the nose. Exhale, let the breath go. And from here you place your hands on the mat. And you round your back so that you find your all fourth one more time. You close your knees together, you tuck your toes under and you find your up stretch. Beautiful stretch, beautiful line. And then you look to the front, you walk with your feet towards your hands. And then you hang down here for an inhale, having your heels directly underneath your hip joints. And you just hang down here. Maybe you already feel some engagement in your shoulders from pressing and from your planks. And then you exhale, you roll yourself gently up. 
letting one vertebrae at a time placing itself onto each other. And at the very end, the head is balancing on the top. We inhale, we open the arms up to only then go directly back down with the chin to the chest, letting the arms fall to the front and we go slowly down, taking it step by step. And then when you're down here, you bend your knees and you take your arms to the front so that you can sit down onto your mat, placing your feet in the front. You directly have your arms parallel, palms facing each other, lengthening from the top and then you exhale, start rounding your back, scooping the navel in and chin drops to your chest. Inhale, you lengthen back up and you exhale, you roll to the back. Inhale, lengthen up for two more, scooping it, inhale, lengthen. We stay down here and now you press those hands against those upper thighs and you feel the engagement in the arms, in the core, squeezing your center and now you keep pressing with your right hand, left arm lifts and you find your thigh, right arm lifts, left hand presses down. Now both arms lift together and you lower down and you start with the left again. Up and low and the right. Up and lower, let's do both arms together. And lower, let's do it one more time in this circle. And the right and lower both arms up and lower from here you inhale you exhale you lift yourself up and your arms come up next to your hat from here you integrate your fingers put your hands behind your hat elbows open to the sides and exhale you twist to the side <sighs> relax those shoulders inhale center feel the support on the sit bones exhale twist other side <sighs> inhale center one more time each side <sighs> and center, exhale, other side, we go back down, sorry, and we start from the hips, lowering down, <sighs> completely onto the mat, and then you inhale, you extend, you lengthen your head, and exhale, you soften your chest, you lift your head up, <sighs> squeeze the core, and you roll yourself back up into your seated position, lengthening at the very end, and then we exhale, we twist, <sighs> Relax the shoulders, inhale, center, exhale, other side. The knees stay in the same distance when we do the same on each side one more time again. So here everything else is fixed and just everything from the top is twisting and we go back down. Exhale, we lower, vertebrae per vertebrae and then you lengthen down. Inhale here, exhale, soften your chest. We lift back up, roll it up, one vertebrae at a time and then you lengthen at the very end. From here you now extend your arms up to the ceiling and now you lower yourself down with your straight arms and at the end you lengthen your arms, you lengthen your legs completely onto the mat before you exhale, circle your arms over the sides and you lift your head up. From here you stay here, then you take your right leg in tabletop, knee overhead, the left leg is hoovering over the mat and then you take the left hand behind your head the right arm is just hoovering over the mat as well. And then from here you inhale, you lower your head and you exhale, you lift it up. And you inhale, you lower it and you exhale, you lift up. And you want to pay attention to with your sacrum being grounded and your knee of course over your hip. Natural tendency would be that we want to pull the knee a little bit slider into the chest, but we want to keep it there for one more and we lift it up from here you release your hands you grab the back of your thighs and then you straighten the right leg up you pull the leg in with the inhale and when you exhale you switch those legs maybe you even grab your calves inhale pull exhale you switch now you are allowed to press your lower spine down inhale in and exhale you switch and switch your own pace and switch and switch for three, for two, last one. Now you have the left leg in your hands, you bend the knee 
and you take the left hand next to your body, right hand behind your heart, and then you inhale, you lower down, you exhale, you lift it up. For three more, inhale, you lower, keep the right leg hovering, and now you have the lower spine lifted again. For two more, and exhale, we lift. One last one, and we lift it up. And from here, you find your tabletop position, you release your hands, you find your arms next to your body, and we come directly into our hundreds, inhaling five times and exhaling five times. So you in two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Keep your legs in the tabletop position. Or if you feel like you want to end up strong, you can also extend your legs diagonal to the front. And in two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Let's do 20 more. And exhale two, three, four, five, last ones. And exhale two, three, four, five. Then you bend your knees, you hug your legs, your knees, and you just wiggle from side to side. Maybe you grab your knees and you just give yourself some circles in your hip pan. Letting the breath flow and circle in the other direction. And then you close your knees together, you open your arms to the sides, and then you drop your legs over to your right side, looking to the left, allowing your spine a little twist, inhaling here, and exhale, take them up and over to the other side, looking over to the right, leaving your shoulders on the mat, And then you come back to the center, you grab the back of your thighs, and then you gently roll yourself up into your cross-legged position again. And we're gonna finish up as we started. So you have your hands on your knees, you feel the long straight spine, Close your eyes just to get aware of the sensation of your breath again and to feel a straight posture. Maybe you feel your body good engaged and good mobilized and maybe also stabilized. Be thankful for that feeling. Be thankful for your body, for your strength, mobility flexibility, be thankful for the state where you're at and just come back from the state whenever you're ready. Take your hands on your center, take a deep breath in and exhale, let it go. One more time in and exhale, you let it go. And with that, I let you go. Thank you for joining and see you soon at Pilates Bay Online.